very strong words there coming from Afghanistan's President Ashraf Ghani saying Pakistan is a part of the problem, saying if Pakistan did not provide safe sanctuary to terrorists, terrorists wouldn't survive in Afghanistan for even a month. Amidst all this, there are reports that are coming in that Sartaj Aziz has met National Security Advisor Ajit Doval. I want to quickly cut across to India today, Smita Sharma. Smita, give us details. Smita, if you can hear me, what are details? What kind of a meeting was this between Ajit Doval and Sartaj Aziz? We'll try and re-establish that link with Smita Sharma in just a moment. There are reports that are coming in that seem to indicate that there was some kind of a meeting between Sartaj Aziz and National Security Advisor Ajit Doval. The government of India is saying that there were no bilaterals planned on the sidelines of the Heart of Asia summit. But information that is coming in is that Sartaj Aziz did meet the National Security Advisor Ajit Doval. That's the information that India Today's Smita Sharma is breaking here on India Today. Was this a handshake? Was there a meeting? A more sustained conversation? We will try and get you details of that. The Ministry of External Affairs hasn't officially commented on it. Sources, of course, saying that there was no meeting planned between Sartaj Aziz and any government official in India at a bilateral level. The foreign affairs ministers, the foreign ministers of several countries met Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Afghanistan's President Ashraf Ghani. But that was a ministerial level uh, meeting, that was a handshake, that was a courtesy call. But was there a more sustained meeting? We are showing you images on screen uh, of that meeting and I will try and re-establish that link with India Today's Smita Sharma for more on that story. On what kind of meeting uh, was this? Uh, was this a handshake? Was this something more than just a handshake? Of course, General Janjua is Pakistan's national security advisor and he is uh, national security advisor Ajit Doval's counterpart when they talk terror. Uh, we're still waiting for some more details of what this conversation was uh, uh, between the two. Was this more than just a handshake? Was there a sustained uh, conversation? from what sources in government of India have been telling in there today that Pakistan is, is seeking dialogue with India. Pakistan is seeking a sustained dialogue with India. But at what level? Let's find out because government of India has officially maintained terror and talks cannot happen simultaneously. I want to cut across to India today, Smita Sharma, for more on this. Smita, give us details. What was this conversation about? You know, the photograph that we have put out exclusively on India Today, Gaurav, uh, uh, it basically shows uh, Sartaj Aziz walking along with Ajit Doval, perhaps uh, sharing a lighter moment, uh, having a fleeting conversation, even as the Pakistani High Commissioner Abdul Basit can be seen walking alongside. This was last night, of course, at that dinner where Sataj Aziz was sitting on table number two. Uh, and later on, of course, uh, the Minister of State uh, for External Affairs, MJ Akbar, because MJ Akbar and VK Singh were primarily hosting this dinner, which was graced by Narendra Modi and Ashraf Ghani. MJ Akbar went and sat on the table. What we understand is that this is a brief conversation. Uh, the, the exact content or the nature of the conversation is yet to be ascertained. But uh, clearly, uh, it, you know, it's more like a pull aside. It's not really a bilateral meeting. Uh, Pakistan there has been sending out indications that it does want to talk to India, that it does want to open up a dialogue window with New Delhi. New Delhi standing firm that as long as, you know, because uh, Sushma Swaraj was in Lahore, in, uh, in Islamabad last year in December, for the Heart of Asia conference exactly a year ago. And that was when she had called upon Nawaz Sharif separately. And after the Heart of Asia meeting, in fact, she held a meeting with Sataj Aziz and the two sides decided to renew the dialogue process. But it, it got derailed immediately following the Pathan Court attacks, because of which now India is very, very cautious, keeping in mind that nothing has come out of the joint investigation announced into the Pathan Court attacks. The ISI official in that joint delegation actually visited the forward airbase. Pakistan has not progressed. There's been the Uri attacks. There have been the Nagrota attacks now.
but uh, uh, pakistan side is actually really keen to try and start some sort of a dialogue process because of its sataz aziz who did speak in fact to indian express as uh, senior journalist nirupama subramaniam seemed to have suggested that at the moment if they do get to speak to anybody in uh, you know from the indian side in amritsar it would really be about the multilateral process and kashmir will not be raised which will be raised at the comprehensive dialogue process so uh, in pakistan trying okay. to look at those possibilities and uh, perhaps trying to search for okay. every single so moment pakistan which might be one of the reasons wants, why okay Okay so Pakistan desperately wants some kind of dialogue process to start with India but India sticking to its stance that terror and talks cannot happen simultaneously so uh, some kind of a handshake at last night's dinner between Sartaj Aziz and National Security Advisor Ajit Doval as they walked out of that premises at Sada Pind tell us more about what India is insisting because what was very was was very interesting Smita was the fact that Afghanistan's president Ashraf Ghani he spoke of pakistan sponsored terror he named pakistan as a country that is sponsoring terror in the region that terrorists couldn't survive a month if there wasn't support uh, from safe sanctuaries he said that that 500 million dollars that pakistan is promising will be better spent if pakistan spends it on fighting terrorists in their country so he was all fire uh, when it comes to pakistan sponsored terror prime minister narendra modi only speak spoke of development in afghanistan so that was quite a contrast there absolutely you know narendra modi sounded more like um, as if he's he was still looking at perhaps uh, future opportunities where at the end of the day india would have to return to a dialogue table with pakistan keeping in mind of course the fact that it's a geographical neighbor uh, which you share boundaries with and that you cannot change uh, but uh, ashraf ghani of course mincing no words in the speech at the inaugural address at the heart of asia conference uh, and it's uh, you know it's uh, just in the past few weeks if you remember there were news reports that emerged that showed in fact photographs of uh, pakistan's uh, defense minister chaudhry nisar khan uh, standing shoulder to shoulder in fact with taliban militants as well so uh, there's evidence in the public domain to that effect uh, something that ashraf ghani talked about in his speech but uh, narendra modi they're sounding more statesman like talking about afghanistan's economic development which is at the core of this heart of asia conference you know the istanbul process that began in 2011 which has 15 in fact participating countries and several other supporting countries as well as regional and international organizations but uh, you know one of the reasons being cited for in fact uh, sataj aziz advancing his trip officially they said that it was because of fog that he came in early but uh, we are being made to understand that perhaps he was also wanting to be at the dinner last night to try and look for these kind of opportunities to start an initiated dialogue in some sort of a way got off okay 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 so india of course sticking to its stand that dialogue with pakistan in a terror and violence free environment that is what top government sources are telling me and as far as this this picture with pakistan is concerned with sartaj aziz is concerned sources telling india today that they barely walk together for less than 100 feet uh, after having dinner together so coming together having a sustained dialogue will happen in a terror free environment is what top government sources are telling india today we will can focus story on the broadcast afghanistan's president ashraf ghani has hit out at pakistan sponsored terror in a very hard hitting speech he said pakistan is promising 500 million dollars Pakistan is well advised to use that money to fight terror in Pakistan and the terror that is aimed at Afghanistan. Ash Afghanistan's president Ashraf Ghani also said that terrorism in Afghanistan will not last one month in case Pakistan takes action against terrorists on its soil. We will talk about that in greater detail but for the moment I want to shift focus to the other story that we're tracking here on India today. There is a mother who is waiting to meet Sartaj Aziz adviser to Pakistan's Pre Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif on foreign affairs her son is in a Pakistani prison for over 3 and a half years after having completed his prison sentence and yet he is not being released it was a case of love he went to Pakistan to rescue his lady love but he's ended up in jail my colleague smita sharma spoke to the family let's listen in It's a Ansari family whose son has been missing since 2012 lost in a Pakistani jail has served his sentence but still remains uh, is still languishing behind prisons Ma'am 
you know, you are here in Amritsar. What is your appeal going to be? Are you hopeful that you will be able to meet Sartaj? Ma'am, I have lost everything but not the hope. When I read in newspaper or saw in the TV channel that Sartaj Aziz Sahab, the advisor of um, foreign affairs, he is visiting India. So this was a ray of hope for we desperate parents. And we immediately planned, I told my husband, let us go and let us see Sartaj Aziz Sahab. I know it was very difficult, we could not get the appointment, I tried to get appointment. But then I, I knew, okay, my appeal will just, uh, it will crush with mountains, but it will, it will be not hurt. But still, without any appointment, we came, I just told, spoke uh, Jatin Desai sir, and Jatin Desai sir, in Namrit sir, there is uh, 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 Ramesh Yadav sir, he is my friend, and he is doing for uh, both the countries peace, uh, right. he is doing, so he may be of some help. So on this hope, uh, I came, and really he is with us, and uh, I hope that uh, my voice could reach to Sartaj Aziz sahab, and he is a kind person, he may reach my voice further up to higher authorities, and maybe... So Afghanistan is talking about Pakistan-sponsored terror. India is talking about economic development of Afghanistan, a relationship that is going to be stronger in the times to come. Of course, in between is Pakistan and Pakistan-sponsored terror.